Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios and today I am doing a day in the life video. So I just woke up an hour ago, it is 5 a.m. and I am running over to work to go and feed the horses. I'm having my last cup of tea and then heading on over there. All right, so it's pretty much pitch black outside, but um, I'm biking to work. I decided I would rather bike to work just because it's better for the environment and oh no, it's not really that far from my house. So I thought I would just start biking there again instead of driving even though I got my driver's license so that was pretty nice <laughs> all right so I'm biking into the barn right now still very pitch black outside the moon's out it's very much night <laughs> even though it's already 5 a.m in the morning I mean 6 a.m in the morning it's like already so dark I'm so excited for daylight savings <laughs> I need to see in the morning <laughs> yay all right, just checked in. I'm in the office and now I'm going out to feed all the horses out here. Also in the pitch black, so I'm gonna turn on a light so I can see what I'm doing. Good morning, everybody. They're like, um, we'd like to stay asleep, please. There we go. Good morning, guys. Time for brekkie. What do you want? What? What do I do? What? I don't have food for you. I'm sorry. So I just fed everyone in the main barn. So now I'm going over to feed the horses in the other barns. So there are currently horses in two other barns. There is the wood barn and the receiving barn. We currently don't have any horses in the um, in the back, back pedal barn. Just the wood barn and receiving. So this is the receiving barn. And in here are the mini donkeys as well as one horse who just had surgery. So not that much in here, and they're already making noise. They know that they're getting fed. Oh my goodness. Spanish, stop digging holes. She's like really annoyed because we're not letting her go outside because she just got surgery. And these guys really want their food, but I'm gonna feed them last because they've been fighting over their food and they need to eat separately. So now I need to put food and water in all of these stalls. Yeah, because we're gonna bring them in. Can't take toad. Hey little guy, if I pick you up, will you not pee on me? It's okay. I'm just gonna bring you outside, little one. This is like the daily adventure. Sometimes I find baby snapping turtles. Sometimes I find giant frogs. All right, buddy, you're in the wrong space. Oh, they're like, feed us, please. I know. Okay, you better not get stepped on, though. I swear he just made a rivet. All right, back to task at hand. for the morning breakfast as you can obviously hear and they are impatiently awaiting their food. Hi guys, I'm here to feed you. They're like, um yeah we know. Mm. Hi guys. To them I am the bringer of food. There you go, there you 
go. You guys need to eat separate, okay? Actually starting to look like daytime. What a surprise! I'm still being followed. So now I need to prepare some medications that I need to give to some of the horses. Someone went to go feed the horses that are staying outside. Um, some people are taking temperatures right now, and then after they finish taking temperatures of all the foals, then we will start bringing the horses outside to the paddocks. Okay, so all the horses are outside, and now I am biking home and I have to get ready for school. My chickens and let my dog outside. Fed him also this morning. And usually in the morning, while I eat breakfast, I will do some sort of SAT preparation or I'll read some of my textbooks for school. And there are some snacks I'm going to give to my chickens to get them outside that we don't eat, that um, is still safe for chickens. We will save in this bin. I'm really big on like saving food and not throwing it away. Sissy, you wanna go outside? He's tired. All right, so we're gonna go take the chickens outside. So at this time, some of them are laying their eggs. You might be able to hear them laying their eggs right now, but I will go over and let them outside. So most of them are coming out now. They see me. And this is where they will go. So I always open this door first so that they know where they're going. And then I will open their other door and then hopefully they go in. Okay, so I put out their snacks so hopefully they will come out once they see that. Hi girls, good morning. Good morning, you guys ready to go outside? Come on. Come on girls, come on. So we have eight chickens. Come on, come on out, Daisy. And I always bring their food outside, and they usually will follow me. Um, and we've trained them and everything, or I've trained them. Okay, girls, let's go. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Come on, chickies. Come on, chickies. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Good girls, good girls. Excuse me, cupcake. Come on. Come on in. Come on. 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 Come on
Come on, chickies. Come on, girls. Come on. Oh, they're distracted. Come here. No, 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 no. Come on. No, girls. Why are you three? The always the three. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Look what I got. Yummy. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. I got one. There you go. Look at all those snacks. Look at all those snacks. Alright, now I gotta figure out how to get the other two in while they're eating. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay, your sisters are getting all the snacks. Sisters. Come on. Go get it. Come on, Coco. Come on, Coco. Come on. There you go. You can figure it out. Good, good girl. There you go. There you go, girls. All right. So now they are outside, and the food is outside, and this is all the remnants of their food. And now I will go to see if any of them have laid any eggs this morning. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. So we have two, three. Oh, they're not laying them in the nest. What the heck? All right, so these two, and then there's one in there too. Okay. And hopefully if I have time either today or tomorrow, I need to clean that coop, so. And they have plenty of water and food in there for later. And they have plenty of food in there for now. And the weather's supposed to be pretty nice, so I'll probably leave them out until about four. And they're fighting over the sausage right now. Okay, so now I will bring in this bin of food that we use and clean it, as well as put the eggs away. I probably, if I have time, I'll wash the eggs. I probably won't. Someone else, my dad will probably wash them, and then we will sell them sometimes or give them to people an order from last night um, that I packaged last night and I need to go outside and put that in my mailbox. So I get this question a lot like do you get orders every day? Um, not every day it depends on the day and also my custom orders people will order but then like it takes a while for me to do obviously and then I will package them and send them off but um, the day basically that I get orders if you order it before like 11 o'clock in the morning then there's a pretty good chance it will be sent out the day of as long as it's not sunday because obviously the post doesn't pick up on sundays but um any other day if you order past 11 it will ship out the day after so put this into the mailbox and my mail people usually come around noon except on sundays like i just said so yeah and you know, I get orders depending on what I have in stock and there's a lot of factors that will go into it. So my first class will start at nine o'clock. So I'm going to make myself another cup of caffeinated tea because um, I want to have some more energy and I'm thirsty. And I will also just set up my study area and I also think I need to work a little bit on some college admissions questions. My first deadline for college applications on November 1st. So I just finished my first class which was chemistry and now I am doing some chemistry homework before I go back to the barn at 10:30, and it is 9 50 now so I will probably do some AP psychology homework reading as well as this chemistry homework right now. So I just am back at work right now and I am going to be feeding all the horses. So I take around this wheelbarrow and um, the oil and I will have the horses. They each have specific um, needs, nutritional needs. So I will give them their specific amount of food for the babies and the mom because they all have feeders that are for the babies and for the moms. So right now I'm just taking a walk after I have lunch. So um, I went back to work from 10.30 to 12 and I fed all the horses. 
set the feed for um, their evening feed and did some other just stuff that needed to be done. I cleaned the donkey stall, uh, filled up water buckets for all the horses coming in. Then I came home and had lunch and I'm listening to this really awesome podcast called The Space Race right now. Um, actually, I, it's probably considered a audiobook, but um, so I've been listening to that and I came home, checked on my chickens, of course, and they're doing well. My mom is home right now um, and she's planting some trees that she just got and yeah. So I'm just taking a nice little walk. I did some of my online homework on my phone while I was walking and it is now 1.18. I have class again at 2.05 to 3.20. So I'm just getting in my daily kind of little walking around. Um, usually just try and do a little bit of exercise every day since I'm not, you know, walking around campus or anything, so. Joggy is sleeping outside. Hi, buddy. Hi, Bobo. You wanna go inside or you're happy out here, I think? All right guys, so I just finished um, my last class of the day and now I also finished all my homework because I did it basically in between my classes, which is not super typical. And also I did some um, extra homework over the weekend because I knew this week was going to be crazy. So now um, what I'll usually do is just some random stuff. So I think I'm going to do some like stuff because... I really want to and I've been doing like school and work all day basically so yeah oh big little update here um this is what my mess of an area looks like I don't know guys like it never really stays clean let's be honest here um so I'm working on this commission piece right now which is not really very close to done um I feel really bad because I've taken really long on this one but I think he's turning out really well, so I'm pretty happy with him, even though he is taking a while. And I've done so many blankets. Um, I finished, like, all of the, well, an exception for this one. So what I'll usually do is make, like, these, and then I'll add on the buckles after. Um, so I have to do that for, I have to do, like, add on the trim for a lot of different ones, um, as you can see here. So my army that still needs to be um, clothed is actually pretty small now. It's only these guys and then those ponies there. There's a few ponies I have in my basement too that need to be clothed as well. Um, and of course my work in progress bin is always full as well as the amount of primed horses that I have that I have not yet painted. And then over there I have a bunch of work in progresses too that I just like We'll randomly stop working on and start working on. Um, I'm going to do a little airbrush session soon so I can get those girls over there that are chestnuts some underbelly shading. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that. And this is still my mess of a shipping station that I should probably clean up to. I'll also probably be filming my barn tour, I'm going to guess, on Wednesday. Because I really need to do that and people have been asking for it so and also I kind of like ran out of room on my shelves here so that's kind of a problem <laughs> so I'm like contemplating do I get another shelf or like do I just start putting them on my, my other bookshelf because um yeah we're running out of room here so yeah like this is definitely full and all these guys have blankets by the way and then I started putting them on this shelf because I don't know where else to put them. And these are some really pretty um, stable sets I did that I'm really happy with. They came out really nice. And I love these halters and matching leads. They're super cute. And this is the barn right now. It's kind of everything. It's just thrown around a little bit. These are all the horses that I have to prime still. I'm not sure if I want to sell them unprimed with blankets as like bundles or not or what's happening. This is my wonderful work area, best soda in the world. You guys have to try it if you have not. <laughs> um, and then I have my little patriotic dude here. All right, so now I'm going to get back on to work on this commission piece that still has a lot that I need to do on him. And um, yeah, I'll probably just be working on him this evening. It's already eight o'clock. Um, 
I just finished doing some work for the horse club I started at my school, so that's exciting. I also, my dad mentioned that they lowered the state law um, for the minimum age to become a emergency medical technician um, to 17. So I kind of was like trying to find somewhere I could get certified because I really would like to be certified. Um, I think that'd be super cool. So yeah, that's kind of where I got sidetracked and um, just looking at some other other stuff. So pretty crazy, but I'm gonna settle down and work on this guy for a little bit uh, while I probably watch something on Netflix or on Disney Plus because I just got a subscription. Okay, so I just finished this commission. So now I am going to package him up. This was originally the Hanoverian stallion and I customed him for someone. I redid his hair and totally repainted him. So I also forgot to include this in like the beginning of the video, but basically every day I also make a Instagram post for the morning and I also check the Instagram like multiple times a day. And I will also be checking my YouTube comments because I try to respond to all of those. Um, and then I'm usually always like checking my Etsy, making sure if I have any orders or customer questions. I will always answer them as well. So Roses, that is a hectic day in my life. If you enjoyed this video, please like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave some video suggestions in the comments. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post there every single day. And don't forget to check out my Etsy. I'm still open for commissions. Thank you guys and see you next time. Stay sweet. Mwah.